Hey guys, this is Shan from Shantha.com and in this video we are going to perform a detailed gaming performance test on our Asus ZenPad 8.0 tablet. We will be playing few of the most popular and the most high-end games and we will see that how good our device is going to perform. Asus ZenPad 8.0 tablet comes with Adreno 306 GPU, Snapdragon, Qualcomm, uh, 1.2 GHz quad-core processor, 8-inch HD screen and 2GB of RAM along with Android 5.1 Lollipop OS. So let's see that how much all these hardware specs are going to help our device when we are going to play a few of the most high-end games. So let's start our test now. The games which we got today are Asphalt at Airborne, Temple Run 2, Nova 3 and Ninja Ribbon. So let's start with Asphalt at Airborne first of all. So if you go to the settings you can see that the visual quality is selected as high here and also the volume is full. Now let's go back and start playing the game. So the speaker given is in the front here as you can see and because of that the sound quality is pretty good. It's uh, loud and clear. So here we go. So you should be getting the idea that the performance of the sensors and the touch screen sensitivity is really very nice. And the graphics quality is quite good as well. It's not so great considering the fact that we are having just SD screen and the resolution is a bit less in terms of PBI but still the graphics quality is good and And there is no frame drop or lagging of any kind here. So I wrecked my car again. So you can see that when we are playing a sport at airborne, the performance of SSN and Pad 8 is really very nice performing pretty good, the graphics quality is good, the sensitivity of the touch screen and the sensors are good as well and the sound is loud and clear and the graphics quality is quite good, not so great but it's still okay. So now let's play some other game and see that how good Our SSN Zen pad is going to perform. So now let's play Nova 3, which is also a very high end and heavy graphics game.
Halston's death should have marked the Dominion's demise. But after four so years, you can see that how good is the sound quality. It's having the Dolby DTS HD sound quality and you should be getting the idea that we are having that effect in this speaker. But it would be, it would be great if we had one more speaker over uh, here as well at the bottom. But still one is good enough here. Now let's play the game and, see. and it's a 3D game so So you can see that our Asus Zenpad 8.0 is performing really very really nice. The graphics quality is so good. And uh, it's a 3D game but still there is no lagging of any kind. There is no issue. There is a bit lag here now. You can see it's lagging a bit. And there's a frame drop because it's a very high-end game, very heavy graphics game. You can see that the movement is a bit laggy here. But now let's play the game and see that what's going to happen. So yeah, you can see sometimes it's lagging, sometimes it's smooth. And that's a bad thing, especially in a game like this, when you have to act fast. So, there is lagging and frame drop when I'm playing Nova 3. While playing a spotted airborne, it was quite good, but now it's not so great. And the game is over. Now, let's go back to a spotted airborne. Okay. So what I'm trying to show you here is that I was playing a spotted airborne and I didn't close the game properly and then I started playing Nova 3 and we felt that in Nova 3 our device was lagging there were few frame drops and it was lagging sometimes sometimes it's smooth so it was you can say it was kind of a bit messed up but uh, now we came back to a spotted airborne and the game is exactly where we have left it so I can just tap on resume and I can start playing the game where I have left it so we can see that our 2GB RAM on our Asus Zenpad 8.0 is performing really very nice so if you are a multitasker who likes to play game and then leave the game in the middle and go to the social media application do some tweeting chatting with your friends and then come back once again to your game and you will find your game exactly at the same place where you have left it so there will be no force close or any issue so this is pretty good thing and especially for the multitaskers it's really very nice and important but in a fault detail bond we can see there is no lagging or no issues of any kind here it's performing so smooth here there is no frame drop as well but when we were playing nova 3 we felt lag and we felt some few frame drops as well over there. So now let's play a few other games and see that how good our device is going to perform. Wrecked again. 
So the remaining two games we got today are Temple Run 2 and Ninja Revenge. Let's play Temple Run 2. And uh, this game is uh, a very popular game as well and it requires good performance of touch screen, sensitivity and also the sensors. So let's play this game and see that how good our Asus Zenpad 8.0 tablet is going to perform. I'm not so good in gaming but still let's see what's going to happen. So you could see that uh, our device was performing pretty good while playing Temple Run 2. The touch screen sensitivity was good and also the performance of sensor but uh, my performance was not good but still let's play the game once again and see what's going to happen. So <laughs> once again I just uh, crashed but uh, uh, we could see that our Asus Zenpad 8.0 was performing quite good while playing Temple Run 2 as well. The touch screen sensitivity and also the performance of sensor were pretty good. Now let's play Ninja Revenge which is a 2D game but still a good one and let's see that how good it's going to perform. And uh, even after playing Nova 3 and Spotted Headbound, the device is having no heating issue. Though it's slight bomb here, but it's not much. So we can pretty much ignore it because uh, it's quite normal. It's not heating a lot unlike a few of the uh, smartphones which we have used earlier and faced the problem. And now let's play. Ninja Revenge It's just showing me the tutorial right now And now let's play the game. You can see that even while playing Ninja Revenge, the performance of our Asus Pad 8.0 is pretty good. The graphics quality is so nice in this game and that's why I wanted to play it to check how good our device is performing and it's performing really very nice. Though I'm not so good in playing games as you can see here. So this is all about our Asus Pad 8.0 tablet. We played few of the most popular and high-end games on it like Asphalted Airborne, Temple Run 2, uh, Nova 3 and uh, the performance of our Asus Zenpad 8.0 was pretty good for Asphalted, Temple Run 2 and Ninja Revenge. But when we played Nova 3 which is a very heavy graphics and 3D uh, game actually it's a 3D game then our device started lagging and we felt few frame drops as well. Other than that the performance of the device is very good in terms of uh, um, touch screen sensitivity, the sensor performance and uh, the sound quality as well and also the graphic quality is uh, quite good but once again uh, it's not that much strong and good enough to play 
high-end games like Nova 3 which is having 3D graphics and very heavy graphics. So thanks for watching the video friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos, tips and tricks and hands-on videos like this. Have a nice day.